as a boy growing up in Toronto. We would just naturally migrate down to the forests in the Don Valley. We would spend hours there running up and down the trails. I first became interested in climate change as an issue for forestry in the mid-1980s. I was called into the office by my manager and was told that climate change maybe wasn't an important issue and that I should be working on something else. My response to them was that they're wrong, that climate change is probably the most important issue facing forestry in Ontario. To their credit, they allowed that work to continue. One of the ways in which we can fight against climate change is to manage forests. So having healthy forests is important because trees will grow faster, uh, larger, and absorb more carbon dioxide from the air. Harvesting forests also contributes to mitigating climate change because the carbon that's in the wood gets converted into a long-lived wood product some of which can last for a century or longer. As managers of the forest, what we do is we ensure that those trees regenerate, that the new forest grows, that it absorbs uh, more carbon dioxide and it replaces the carbon that we've extracted and converted into a wood product. So the cycle begins again. I think it's really important that young people who are considering a career in the environmental sciences consider going into forestry. A career in forestry is going to put you in a position where you're able to act and manage that forest and make real contributions. Forests can't move and adapt naturally, or at least not very quickly. Trees and forests are central to everything I do in my work. When I look back on my career, uh, when it's finally over, I think the thing I'll be proudest of is the fact that I was able to make a real difference to the practice of forestry in the province of Ontario. It takes a forest to be complete. <laughs>